Hello everyone, welcome back to another Blender video. This will be a tutorial on how to use Blender and how to use it to make 3D renders of your Minecraft character. And it's going to be really cool actually, because you'll learn, it's, it's really fun to make. And so basically what you'll need is I'll have the link to all the downloads in the description. I'm going to be using Blender 2.78 because that's the one I know how to use. And it'll have the link here in the description. And for the download, if you have like, if you're using a Linux computer, then you download one of these. And I'm using Windows 64. And basically, if you're using Windows and 64, then you want to download the MSI, just as I pressed, see, MSI, and then and this link, this will be your Minecraft character. You're gonna have to download, press this button here, and you'll download it just like that. And then you go to this link. This one is like all the blocks and stuff. It even has an ender dragon, oh, that's cool. And then you're gonna have to download cycles. If you know, if you wanna know what internal is, internal is basically for it's based on your CPU. Cycles is based on your GPU. And if your GPU is better, I recommend Cycles. If your CPU is better, then internal is what you would go for. But I'd still recommend Cycles anyway, even if your CPU is worse than your C GPU, because everything just looks better. And it's just, yeah, it looks amazing. And, and it really isn't that different I mean, this one would be faster, but this one is still nice. And then you go to the Jerry Sword Rig. This is all of your swords for your character, if you want to add a sword, you know. You download that, and once you have everything here downloaded, you're going to have to open it and unzip each one of these files to where you want it. Go away, Renoir. There we go. It's like you basically just extract it to wherever you want um uh yeah organize it however you like put it wherever you want as long as you can find it then there you go all right next i'm gonna go to blender when you open it come on open there we go you'll have this weird black thing there i don't know why that's there and basically it opens up like this you'll have this here just click beside it not on it and then full screen because why not and so basically it'll have a default cube like this you're gonna want to right click the cube and then press the delete key on your keyboard and then same with this thing up here press the delete key like after you right click it right click it and press the delete key and so to move around uh, you need a mouse for this. I don't recommend using a trackpad from a laptop because that's I don't know how to use that. It's pretty bad. It's more professional to use a mouse. And so if you have a mouse, you basically move around by pressing the middle button on your mouse where the scroll thingy is. You hold you press that down and then it moves around like this. And then you scroll in to zoom in and out to zoom out. And that's just how you move around. And to move around better, you can hold shift and then press the middle button again and it moves around like this and it's actually really good. And another way of moving around is hold shift F and then you can do WASD to move around as if you're like f flying everywhere. It's pretty good. And then you just click out of it just like that. All right, now that we're here, you should have everything downloaded. You should be able to find it First thing you want to do, click this, go to Cycles Render, because that's the render we're going to use today, Cycles. It's way better. And then also, go to File, go to User Preferences, and you want to go to System, and you want to uncheck both of these. I mean, I, my GPU thing is unchecked because, I don't know why, but that's just how it is. You're going to want to uncheck MIP maps and MIP map generation because if you were to load in a character, everything would look very blurry. And so basically once you uncheck it, just uncheck it like that and then press save user settings and then you can exit out of that. Good. 
Now, next thing you're going to want to do is to get your character. Go to press File, Append, and then you're going to want to find where it says, pla like, the thing where you extracted everything, where it says Black Plasma, all of that. You're going to have to press the top one, the dot blend, or plasma rig v2. Not the light. The light is not good. Just press the top one. And then you're going to go to object. And then once you're here, you see all of this. Press A. And then append from library. Just like that. And then see, you have a really creepy looking character. It's, I don't know why, but that's just how it is. It's extremely creepy at first but yeah and if you don't want it that creepy go down here you see where it is press this little circle here and then click change it to material and now as you can see it's a minecraft steve all right now you're gonna have to find where your minecraft skin is if you want your minecraft skin also first of all if you want these customizable eyes um then you just leave it there. If you don't like it, right click on these control things and then go up here where it has all of this. It says black plasma rig. Press on the little character where it's doing a T-pose. Then it changes everything like this. And what I recommend doing, if this is your first time, I would recommend right clicking on this and then to move it around, press G and then move it up like that. And then you get rid of the creepy eyes. And then there's also a weird mouth hidden under here. And so you're going to want to right click on this and press G and move it all the way to there. And if your Minecraft character is slim, right click on this, press G and go to the left. See, it changes it to slim. It's very useful. And if you have it as classic as I do, then just leave it how it is and put it back like that. And once you have it the way I have it, right click on the top one above the head, see the very top one, right click it, press G, and then bring it up like that. And basically, you right click stuff to select it, so you select this little character thing here. And so, to add your little Minecraft character, you're going to right click on this little character just right here, see? This little guy right next to the head. Right click on that. And then go to the side where, where my mouse is and press on the checkered circle. Not the checkered, but the checkered circle. And then you're going to want to go down here, press the paper, kind of like a printer, and then click on the second one. You're going to want to click on the second one. And as you can see, there's an error that's completely normal. You don't worry about anything. And then as you can see, it changes to like a folder. And then press that. And then you're going to want to go find your Minecraft skin. And this would be my Minecraft skin. Where is it? This one. Here we go. Bumblebee chicken. Just like that. And this is my Minecraft skin. As you can see. And there you go. That's your Minecraft skin. And so to move it around, you're going to want to right click on the body part you want to move. And then you press R. And then there's X, Y, Z. As you know, those are coordinate symbols. And then you press either one to change it in either direction. As you can see, it does that. And so if you press Y, you can just change it like that. And then do this, do that. That was both Y. And then you can press R, Z to rotate. And before you, every time, like in between doing stuff you're gonna want to right click it and then press R and then whatever letter it is and then once you're done with that you're gonna have to press R again and then press the other one you want to do to rotate and so basically that's how it works I'm just gonna do T pose because that's pretty cool T pose is really really cool there we go we have a T pose T poses are awesome all right now, you're going to want to change it the way you want. This bottom thing, if you right click on it, this outer line, you can press G to move it around. 
which you can do. And if you want to put it back where it was, just right click it again while it's still moving around. See, it's moving around, right click and goes back. And if you ever want to redo what you just did, press Control Z and then it would redo what you just did. See, it redid that and it redid that, see? And so, put that out the T pose, I like T pose. Put it back like that. And here we go, my mouth is getting really dry. Um, what you wanna do, or I mean, what am I doing? Just make your character however you like. For the legs, the legs are actually pretty different. Um, so for example, the legs, you're gonna have to right click on the bottom little square here. I'm pretty sure you just heard a notification that I just had, but put that away. Right click on the little square. As you can see, there's a square outlining each foot. Right click on the square that you want for your leg and then press G and you can move it around however you like. And it just changes the leg and everything. I'm just gonna change it like that. And I'm gonna change this so it goes like that. And then as you can see, you can just rotate it again. Press R, X or something. What am I doing? Rx, see it rotates the bottom of the foot so it's more natural. And then, and then after this, you can just like rotate all of this too. I don't know why I'm doing that. Next, if you want to have your sword, go to File, Append, and you're gonna want to go find the cycles rig that you downloaded. I mean, not cycles, sorry. Jerry's sword. And then click on the cycles, since that's the one we're using. And click object. And then use whatever sword you want. For this, I'm just gonna use redstone sword because red swords are pretty unnatural. And then just move it like that. Move it around, rotate it. Put it so it can be in the character's hands. I'm gonna rotate it like this. Like that. And then we'll rotate it like that. And then I'll just drag it right in there. There we go. Now your character is holding a sword and it's pretty cool and that's how you use blender you can just do that and that and then if you want to see what your test render is press shift z and then this will be the preview of what your render is and that's what it would look like you can rotate around this. it's kind of weird and then as you can see there's no lighting it's weird so what you want to do is press shift a and then on the top one mesh go to uv sphere and then it just goes there right click it drag it to where you want use it as if it is the sun i'm just going to put it up here like that and then once it's still selected right click it go to circle the checkered circle see checkered circle press new and then right here it says surface down here and it says diffuse click on that and change it to emission right here emission and then this is the strength of the light I'm gonna try 15 and see how bright that is and then you can test render shift Z right now pretty cool I'm just gonna put it to 17 because there we go. And a brighter. Now you have your desired pose, T pose, because that's really cool. T poses are amazing. Once you have your character and stuff, what you wanna do is press zero on the number pad of your keyboard and then press N. Press zero for this weird camera thing, then press N. And so basically what that zero thing is, that is the camera right here. 
that is what this black thing is if you're wondering the whole time see this is the camera view and then once you press n you're gonna want to go right here and click lock camera to view and then you can just move it around like you normally would and this is basically your camera where you take your picture and once you have that you're gonna want to go to camera and go all the way down here and then it says transparent click on that if you want the background to be transparent so you can add any background you like in the future and then the resolution I would usually do like 512 times 512 is pretty good and then like that sometimes I would do like 2500 times 2500 basically do what you want and you're also going to want to change that to 100% that way you know you're getting 100% of the resolution and then once you have this I'm going to close this area press N to close that and once you have your desired pose you can press F12 and it will start rendering the image as you can see my computer is kind of slow if you have a fast computer then it would render the image like boom 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 it would be pretty good and there you have it all right i am back i just drank water i very needed and as you can see this is the finished rendered image and there you have it it's kind of blurry looking but that's probably because of the resolution i put pretty low and so once you want to once you have this if you want to save it, you press F3, and then you just save it wherever you want. I'm just gonna save it here, and I'm gonna title it uh, Blender Stuff. Blah, blah. All right, there we go. That's good enough. And if you want to go back and edit this again, press the escape button on your keyboard, and it takes you back to this. See, easy as that. And there you go. This was a Blender video, and I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys again later.